tell you, it's more bad news for the Steve Montenegro campaign because what we heard here today was a lawyer that was representing the woman allegedly, you know, in the middle of all this. And you can take allegedly out of this. She is claiming right now that she was part of this whole uh, sordid uh, mess down here at the state capitol. And the news here today is that uh, she and the lawyer are directly contradicting what Mr. Montenegro has said. He told the Washington Examiner um, earlier this afternoon, earlier today, that he had never solicited any sexual type of pictures, any uh, naked self from this woman who did work here at the state capitol. The lawyer is saying that is not accurate. That is not true. He actually called Mr. Montenegro a, quote, moral toad. He repeated that line several times here throughout this whole press conference. But he described her tonight as the victim in this whole situation, that she started here um, a couple of years ago, well, actually back in 2017, shortly after she was released uh, from prison. So, uh, you know, and so she started here. She was trying to rebuild her life. At that point, Mr. Montenegro started uh, communicating with her at first it was very professional but it quickly delved into something much more personal i want to play you a little bit from what tom ryan the attorney representing this woman had to say earlier today we engaged in sexual conversation about these pictures these conversations were detailed and intimate because they were sent through snapchat i do not have copies of them Eventually, the texting and snapping stopped. I was first contacted again by Senator Montenegro after Representative Trent Franks resigned from Congress amidst his own sexual scandal. Senator Montenegro wanted to make sure I was, quote, cool and not going to be talking about our texting snapping relationship. Okay, again, that is uh, bad news today here for uh, Steve Montenegro and his campaign just days away from that election. As the attorney there, Tom Bryan, he was reading a statement from his client. The woman's name is Stephanie Holford, worked here at the center. And again, she is directly contradicting what Mr. Montenegro told an East Coast newspaper earlier today, that he never solicited any type of pictures or anything of that nature throughout these uh, communications with this staff member that lasted for about nine months down here at the Capitol. Guys, we'll send it back into you.